Hi guys, it's Azim again from RedScore.com. In the previous video tutorial, I showed you how to pass uh, data from URL to controller. And uh, in this video, I will show you how you guys can pass data from controller to view. So let's get start. We were working on this URL and uh, we passed uh, name and the last name to our home controller and in our home controller we have these two names let's create a view for this controller to create a view you need to go to app folder in the view in view you can see that we have different views we will learn about all of these views later before creating view for our welcome method in home controller let's create another package let's call it home it's not necessary but it's best practice to place all of those views files of your controller in separate folder so that's why uh, we are going to place all views files of uh, home controller in home folder let's right click on it and new and then click on play to template here type the name of the view that you want to create let's call it welcome and press ok in play framework views are managed as classes so for example if you want to uh, use this view in home controller then you need to import this view into home controller to import this view you just have to write import views dot home dot static and it will include all of the views that are in the home folder now because we want to pass these two variables into our view so we have to accept these two variables into our view so for example we want we want to pass a name and its data type is string and we, we also want to pass last name and its data type is string now this view will accept two variables of string type let's simply create a html page my welcome page welcome and to display value from this variable we will use add symbol then we can access this variable last name to our website now we can render this view from our controller which is welcome dot render and then we will pass these two variables into our view now let's go back to our application and let's visit this url we got some errors let's say what it is the package views does not exist okay let's verify it we made little mistake here we need to go to view then we need to type html then we can import all these template classes from home folder okay perfect now we can run our application again so we are successfully able to pass data from url to controller and from controller to our view let's change some variables and it's actually loading our html as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and from the next video we will start building simple crude application where we will 
uh, create book we will edit book we will update book and we will delete book i'm really really excited and uh, see you in the next one Thank you.